Alex Coffey at TD Ameritrade joins me now. There's a couple of stocks to watch at Oscar night Disney and especially Netflix. Yeah, so let's start with Netflix. Kind of surprised everyone. They come out with The Irishman, huge film, and it has the second most Oscar nominations, but Netflix as a studio actually leads the way with 24 combined nominations as a studio. And to me, this is a really big deal because we know that Netflix has made extreme efforts into original content, particularly in TV shows and, and you know more of that kind of a style of, of, of content. But this was their first real step into a theater release type of film. And to see the kind of notoriety that it's getting from the Academy, I think is doing a lot to legitimize it as a true powerhouse in this content creation space. That being said, Netflix has also uh, entertained and, and dealt with a lot of different risks in terms of new competition, Disney being one of them, and that's led to some volatility in the stock. Uh, traders have watched this come back as maybe there's a little bit of an overreaction in terms of the selling, but looking for a little bit of an Oscar pop, making uh, some, some waves with this stock and looking to buy the 370, 375 call verticals. This is in the February monthly expiration, looking for a little bit of a pop uh, after the Oscars uh, this weekend. And then what about Disney? Disney, I mean, it's holding its own in terms of Oscar nominations uh, in third place with 17, I believe it is. And then you also look at the, the year it's been in films. I mean, from a new Star Wars film to Frozen 2, it's been a record-breaking year for the Disney. billion dollar marks. Yeah, billion dollar marks by the middle of last year in terms of some of the numbers that they were showing. But then you also think about the other things it's got going on. Obviously, it just had earnings this week, a little bit of a disappointment in terms of the stock reaction. But 26 and a half million new subs, uh, or the sub number now for Disney Plus, well mm -hmm. above expectations. So traders looking to take advantage of this pullback, selling the 139, 136 put verticals, also in the February monthly expiration for about a dollar. Take advantage of this pullback on earnings uh, and give themselves a little bit of long deltas. Okay, good to have you here. Thank you, Alex. Thanks. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.